So, this the band KMFDM once said, um, "A lack of interest has its price when we're until we're stripped of all our rights." In America, we certainly have a new swamp, claimed to be drained yet refilled with ilk, echoing the rhetoric of uh, ending native culture, blaming them for wasting the land, but the new swamp forgets them to swallow another, mirroring the untouched, flourishing forests. Flourishing identity is seen as a waste like unused land. The swamp won't let up on insisting won't let up on installing people down a forced path clearing culture one tree or child at a time this may seem like an old like an odd uh, comparison but only origins got me to connect this no matter how vague the dark tower drains all hope until it falls back into the river so to speak waiting for its next meal for those of you wondering, the American swamp is uh, entrenched with insane human beings, given the red carpet by our last demented president. We are just so lucky veneers like the ACU, uh, L ACLU are still catering to LGBT and other rights. Historically, they worked and shook hands with the worst forces in our world, the KKK, for example. This, unfortunately, for some unnecessary evil of speech laws, morals, and ways of life are on a border to some extent in this uh, case, next to the White House or UN meetings of importance. Um, when Trump uh, was, ran in 2016, he seemingly held up a pride flag in support of the LGBT claiming he would be on the side of social justice, even putting out viral videos with supposed gay people claiming to be for Trump. But this mirrors the Why Me Republic when some gays joined the dark side of the equation. The Nazis claim they have what they need if they join, which is insane. Historically, minorities such as African Americans, Arab Americans, Irish, etc. have all gained respect to some degree by surviving the military, by serving the military, give or take other attitudes today and stereotypes of homeless vets on the streets who get used up. Regardless, in general, this is usually a great honor to join the military. But Trump targeting this birthright, attacking LGBT in the military, who are told to be unfit, basically. Trump also withdrew the 1972 Anti-Transgender Discrimination Amendment in federally funded schools and refused to investigate discrimination, invoking religious, invoking religious right to not associate. Though this came off vague, since 2017, Congress asked Attorney General, Attorney General Jeff Sessions if the federal, uh, the federal world has a right to discriminate, but he did not really answer, feigning surprise, saying, I'll give you it in writing, which I'm not sure if that's like some loophole or not. Currently, the swamp people, such as Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, claims gender reform is sexualizing children yet normal gender at a young age isn't or it's utter projection as they see children as a as that concept and two south dakota governor christy noam uh rambles on about arbitrary cultural significance saying in south dakota only girls play girls sports three other republican states about the LGBT community saying, this is not culture, this is a parent revolution. Right now there's 300 anti-LGBT bills across um, Arizona, Alabama, and Texas. This is, could not be taken lightly. And so the mask and trench coat were off after this Uvalde shooting. I didn't have to end this way, but they intentionally went after random trans girls who didn't even live in Texas. Claiming the shooter was trans was bad enough of a scapegoat. 
lying about it wasn't even the hammer on the nail, but using children this entire time, making us pick a side to care about more, to, to who to care about more. You either look towards the dead children or see the scapegoat of trans that's blamed on mental illness. We don't see the rights being taken, just the current body counts that conservatives framed and overlapped with each other. In this context, they framed it as, think of the children, watch out for trans. I take a take, a, t a takeover could happen this coming election in 2024. Um, all the progression of rights and liberation ripped to shreds in a potential moment, just like the nationalist tension to remove certain people from the Weimar Republic. Around the same time in 18... 92, 1984, Martin Nyamalar acknowledged, end quote, first they came for the socialists and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, but I did not speak out because I was not a train unionist, trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, but I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. So those who think these people will stop, think it's not about you, you your complacency is the red carpet to us all.